So what the code is saying is that if if this middle value here if this value here is greater than zero, so if we take the value of this value here, if it's greater than zero, then we simply go to the midpoint is equal to a. It, as it turns out, it's not. So, in other words, else b becomes the new midpoint. Okay, so the midpoint then gets pushed, put back in, and we take, so the new midpoint becomes the average, the new b, the new b becomes the, the, the previous midpoint. So then we would put in 3.5, 3.5, let's just take it as 3.5. We come back again, we find that this midpoint is not greater than zero, it's actually less. So the new midpoint again must be 3.5. So the new, uh, sorry, the new B should be uh, 1.75, 1 1.75. We still find it's negative, we go again, one point. 0 0.875 we find that it's still negative we go again 0 0.4375 the midpoint is still greater than the mid uh, c diff is still if we have a look at it here this value is still less so if we take the mid cdif this value it is uh, less than zero so that implies the new midpoint for b is the old so b becomes this value here so we put in 0 0.21875 and now we find that this values went from being if you like from being negative to being positive and in that instance if this value if this value here is greater than zero then uh, we take a and the new a becomes this so this value here becomes um, a so we write in zero uh, do that again we put in 0 0.1093750 and we find again that the mid mid cf is greater than 0 so the new a so let's copy this we could just simply go copy and paste value paste special and value and what we're finding here is that if we look at the uh, value here for the option the we're converging so the 911 and the 11 here uh, these values are converging but we still have a mid CDIF which is greater than zero so we have to take this value here again copy and we paste special and value so a is being raised and now it's 19 and now this value is is negative so we take this value here and we copy and we paste so b we now um, paste special and this value becomes b and you can see again the difference between and uh, the tolerance the tolerance convergence value is here zero 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 one um, and we're still in excess of that so we keep going we don't stop 
um, we notice that if the absolute value here is less than the tolerance we go to the last line but we're not there yet what we find is that the value here is positive if the value here is greater than zero then we take the value here again in other words we're raising a so we'll take copy and we'll paste this value in again so paste uh, special right click paste special uh, values and pull across and of course this has gone up and all the time we're converging these values are getting closer and uh, again this value is negative so in that instance if the value is negative then we take b we take this point here copy and we put it in here and we paste special uh, value and you can see it's getting tighter and tighter all the time uh, the mid C is still higher so we keep going but the value that we're getting is getting closer and closer to the 20% which we know is the actual implied volatility so again if this value is positive if this is greater if this is greater than zero then we take a we copy and we raise a so pay special value and this value then increases just slightly and again they it's now negative mid c d i f is negative so in that case we take b we take this value and it becomes the new b paste so b if you like pay special value b is coming down and uh, it's still negative we copy if the value is negative so it's not greater than zero it's less than zero then we take this value here copy and paste into b paste special value and go again and it's coming down and we keep doing that until the absolute value here is less than the tolerance so there could be another 30 iterations of this but you can see how the a and the b keeps changing keeps updating and we keep uh, in taking the mid p point and either raising a or we're lowering b until we arrive at some point of convergence but we're very close we are, we're very close to the 1045 at this point so that's where i uh, cut out but that's a, a representation of the mechanism or the dynamics along which the bisection uh, algorithm is implemented um, and the ultimately if we keep doing this enough times we get convergence we'll ultimately find the value here in absolute terms that mid cif mid mid cdif value will be less than the tolerance specified here and then we go to that last value then we return that mid uh, mid p and that value then becomes the uh, the, the, the uh, mid p value in other words this value becomes the implied volatility